slower on the court? Do you want to be faster on the court? Today I will teach you how to be faster on the court with little effort or no effort at all. It's just an advanced technique that I'm going to teach you. Let's get into it. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, okay. This technique, I call it hand first. This one, is, it works very well uh, on the side and at the front. A lot of people feel like, hey, I'm slow. I want to be faster. Then you're going to run faster. And that is the wrong idea. You don't want to run faster because what you want to be faster is your racket. You are playing badminton. You are not playing soccer. If your legs are there, but your arms are not there, there's no point. You're not going to be faster. You're going to get too close to the birdie. Right? You cannot hit the birdie. Which means, when you want to take off, you want to take off with your hand first. For example, if the birdie coming on the left side like this, instead of moving with your leg, you are moving with your hand like this. And you will realize that a lot of times, you don't even have to move your leg. But in order to use this technique, you need to have a, a strong glute muscle on your butt. Which means you have to bend a little bit lower. When your legs are uh, stronger and stable on the court, you can move your arm stably like this. If your leg is not strong and you put your butt up to how you kind of stand up straight like this, when you go with your hand press, you're gonna fall. Like this or like this. You don't wanna do that. Make sure your hand go first. Your hand go first. Okay, when the body comes, your hand goes. So the funny part about it is that whenever your leg go first, your hand, your racket, don't always follow your leg. Okay, just like this. When I wanna go to the right, if I move with my leg first, my hand doesn't have to go with me and, and, and stop here. Okay, maybe the body comes too close to me or too far, I can't adjust. But in the same scenario, if I move my hand first, it's far. When I'm about to fall, what happens is my leg will fall automatically. Because your body will tell you, if you don't move your leg, you're gonna fall. Okay, like this. So, at the front, Hand first, leg. Even the bottom, the body come down, same thing. Hook, hand, leg. Okay, not leg, hand. You get too close to it, and you don't even realize it. Back hand, same thing. Hook, hand. The front, hand, leg. All right. Now for the back part. The back part is a little bit trickier because there are a lot of momentum to it. Human being, we are easier for us to lean forward and we still not falling. We have a better balance with lean forward. But when you go backward, you're losing balance. That means you need more momentum. When the body go far back, sometimes you bend, you go with your leg first, just to keep your balance, then your hand goes up. But still, you still want to put your hand first. Okay, this technique helps you the most when you play a double at the front and return smash on the side or drive. Okay, at the back it helps as well but not as much as the front. Like this. Not like this. Okay, remember hand first. If you guys like this video and you think it's useful, please click share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.